On April 15, 2017, the Whittier College Board of Trustees announced they were shutting the doors on its 51-year-old law school just two weeks before the end of the semester. On April 15, the foundation of trust I had for Whittier College started to crumble. When the Board of Trustees announced that the Whittier Law School is no longer accepting new students and was closing on an undisclosed date, it was hard to decide where to place the blame. On one hand, smaller, private law schools across the country are struggling with rising tuition costs and a decline in enrollment. Whittier Law School just happened to be the first school they gave up, undoubtedly the first of many more to come. This isn't anyone's fault, including Whittier. Instead, the fault lies in the Board of Trustees, who failed to properly handle the situation over the course of its two-year-long existence, thereby demonstrating an inherent lack of respect and care for the student body and faculty at the law school. The Board first discussed the possibility of closing the school in 2015 in hopes of finding a solution, and in the two years since then, they never announced that there was any even semblance of a chance that the school might close. Not even the faculty knew before the, stu before the official announcement. They also didn't know that four months earlier, the campus was sold by the board for $35 million, from which the board received a $13 million payout that they didn't tell anyone about. One might hope that money would be used to further provide assistance for the students and faculty, but so far, no word has been given on the whereabouts of that money, and until Whittier shows what they did with the money, how can I know that it wasn't pocketed by the board of trustees? Given re recent events, I don't entirely doubt their capacity to do so. In addition to the late notice, the board also failed to accommodate the student body. There are 371 students that attend the school. Whittier students, just like you and I, who are now stuck with a half-baked education accompanied by a side of several steaming piles of unpaid student loans. Those on their way to graduate this semester were given a hastily made assurance that some classes would be available for them to graduate. But as of yet, no plans to follow through with this claim have been announced. Very few clearances were given by the Board of Trustees in general. Although they alluded to potential alternate solutions, they never described any said solutions. Is this a case of bad organization, or is it because of the mysterious $13 million payout when the average student at their school has $180,000 in student loan debt? How can I trust a school that's run by the same board of trustees that clearly doesn't respect its faculty or student body? How can I trust that Whittier College isn't going to take the same path as a law school and shut down? The Board of Trustees has already proven that they would keep something like that as confidential as possible, so I wouldn't know until the last minute. And over my two short years here, I've learned to love Whittier College, but in light of recent events, I've had to reevaluate whether or not I wanted to stay in a place where I do not trust the administration. I do not want to see the same thing that happened to the law school happen to the place that I love. I don't want to graduate from a school that might not exist by the time I get a job, and I don't want to explain to any potential interviewers why graduating from a school that doesn't exist anymore does not automatically make me a liability, even though it probably does. My point is, people will stop placing their trust in Whittier College if the Board of Trustees continues to dodge questions about the closing of the Whittier Law School.